Excuse me. Even Jesus, why when he was on earth, he knew that the devil called death is an enemy to God's creation and God's people. And he vowed, he vowed, Jesus vowed that he will not rule as the king of kings and the lord of lords in the heavens until he destroyed that enemy called death. He has made vow while he was living. He know that that spirit called what? Death. Jesus knew on earth that that devil called death is an enemy an enemy to God's creation and God's people he made vow with his life that he will never rule he will not rule as a god he told himself I can't be as a god until I destroy that enemy God that he knew one of the capital summit of Jesus on earth is to destroy that devil that is killing men that is called it. that is why he came to the earth he came to earth to put an end to that enemy called that he capital summit but he came to the earth he should destroy that was why he spent time his life must end where he is looking for and when he finished with that he left to show that he came to destroy that spirit and go. The capital assignment. Jesus would have not rest if he didn't meet that spirit called dead. Jesus knows he will not reign as a king. He will not sit on the throne of his father until he destroy that enemy called death. So the capital assignment of his life on earth is to destroy one enemy. Everything he performed on earth was he was looking for that enemy. That was why he didn't stay. He did not finish healing the sick and go. He did not rest. He did not went and feed the 5,000 people and disappear. He did not make Peter to become rich fish, began to get Peter money and go. No. Those are not what he came to the earth to do. He came to the end to end one spirit. And as soon as he finished with that spirit, he came out from the grave. He has sent back to where he came from. Because he has already revealed himself that he was a spirit. He was a Christ. So he didn't have fit to stone earth again. Now, that when he came out, he went to his apostles to tell them, I don't have any meat place to stay anymore. Peter occupy because I'm going back to where I came from as a Christ. He said, I only took a nature of a man, but they were watching him. He moved into the cloud and they saw him going. They now know that this was Christ that was living with them as a as man. Then comes the end. Now, shh, look, can I tell you what did I say? Come. The end of Jesus is when he will destroy death. People, Jesus was living, nothing would take his life. He did not come to the earth to heal the sick, to lay the lamb, to, to feed 5,000 people. He came to destroy the capital summit of his life, is to destroy that spirit called death. death. And when he finished, because that was his end, when he finished, he will go. He, when he finished with that spirit called death, he didn't do any transaction again on them. He did not heal any sick again. He did not let, he left it for he, he, he left it for the Holy Ghost. He left it for Peter and Paul. He left it for the apostles. He connect them. But that is not what he came to the earth. When he was doing that, they thought that that was what he came to do. He said, then come the earth. When he delivers the kingdom, when he will deliver the kingdom to God, the Father, the Father, when he puts an end, when he will put an end to all rules, to all, all authorities and, and powers. So he must reign. Now look at it. He say, if he must reign, that means there is a clause, there is a vow. If Jesus.
Jesus must reign. Death must not reign again on earth. If my king must reign. He said for he must reign. Till he put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that will Wait, he defied it. He said I will fight enemies. But the last enemy, people don't read Bible. I know the end of my king on earth. 